if you're interested in the videos I've done so far on um, my CML chronic myeloid leukemia diagnosis and living with it um, then stay tuned um, I'm just gonna give you an update I had my consultant appointment this morning so just letting you know how it all went um, I am 10 months into treatment, coming up to 10 months into treatment. Um, I think I started treatment on the 2nd of November um, last year, so coming up to 10 months of treatment. And um, when I was first diagnosed, I had a BCR ABLE test done, which um, looks at the level of leukemia cells in your body. When I was first diagnosed, those levels were 182%, and now, 10 months later on imatinib, they are at 0.81%, which is really, really good. Um, I believe the aim is to get under 1% by a year of being on medication. So I, I am at that target two months early, which is fab. Um, I did get a little bit... Um, not down, but just a little bit unhappy with my results over the past few um, blood tests because people I've spoken to, you know, read about on Facebook and things like that, um, have been getting to sort of naught point naught whatever's really really early after only a few months on treatment. So I was thinking, well, why aren't I responding as quickly as that? But it's not a race as long as we all get to that point that we need to get to. Um, that's that's the aim really, it doesn't matter how quickly you get there. So I've kind of got that sort of, not competing with everyone else, but comparing myself to everybody else. I've got that out of my head and I'm just focusing on my results and how good they are. Um, my consultant's really happy with me so he's moving me to appointments every three months now instead of every two so um, that's good I think eventually it will go to six monthly but I guess they want to see he said to me today we just need to see how low you go um, imatinib apparently is first line treatment because it's most well tolerated but um, it doesn't give you as deep a, or as quick a response as the others do so he just needs to see I guess over the next few results whether I continue to drop or whether I sort of float around at this same level um, and I guess when I'm stable he'll move to every six months I think that's the goal every six months um, to see him but I kind of wouldn't feel comfortable yet only being 10 months since diagnosis. I don't think I'd really feel comfortable only seeing him every six months at this stage. So I'm quite happy with three. Um, so, yeah, that's that's it really as far as an update on the CML goes. I'm still living with side effects as most people do. Um, fatigue, shortness of breath when I'm sort of walking a lot. Um, I have to take sort of rest breaks and I kind of, if I'm going to do something active, I need to make sure that I factor in that I'm going to need to rest and not do a whole lot the next day. So I'm kind of just learning my limitations and the new ways that I have to do things. So um, as time's going on, things are getting a bit easier because I understand what I can and can't do now. Um and what's appropriate to do is no good going on a 10 mile hike not that I could do that but going on you know a massive walk and tiring myself out if I know I've got plans the next day so it's just knowing what is good and what is not good for my body now um I still get occasional muscle pains and joint pains um I'm finding it difficult doing my hair um, the uh, curlers, the Babyliss curling thing and the uh, GHDs and stuff, they're, they're okay because I'm not constantly with my arms up, you know, I'm putting them in and then putting it down and combing it, you know, it's up, down, up, down, so it's not too bad, although I do find I start to struggle towards the end, but blow drying my hair is really tricky, um, 
I can only sort of do the bottom layer and by that point my arms are aching so bad that my husband has to finish off blow drying my hair for me so um, that's tough things like um, stirring big heavy pots of food if I'm doing a big casserole or curry or something after a while of stirring my arm my wrists begin to ache and peeling potatoes my hands and things start to cramp and just general things like that I, I wrote out quite a lot of birthday cards recently all at the same time and I'm dreading writing my Christmas cards out this year because it's just going to, it, it hurts. Um, I'm not able to write for as long before my hand starts cramping. Um, so it's just general things like that. My migraines are still there. The amitriptyline has reduced them, but it's not got rid of them completely. Um, I have tried microcurrent therapy, which I just didn't get on with. The patch thing just kept falling off and I didn't have like faith that it was going to work so I didn't come off the amitriptyline whilst I was trying it so I don't know how effective it was. Um, <coughs> I don't want to increase my amitriptyline dosage because it makes me really sleepy um, and it makes it difficult for me to get up in the morning. So by increasing the dosage I think that that would just get worse so I don't really want to do that. So the other option I've got which has been recommended to me is uh, acupuncture so if anyone's ever done acupuncture for migraines I'd be really interested to hear how that worked for you um, and I will also do a video on how I find that works for me when I get round to actually doing it um, but apart from that apart from the usual fatigue migraines joint and muscle pain um, I'm not experiencing anything new side effects wise so I was feeling the cold really badly and some days like today I'm feeling it because it's raining and not very nice outside but in the hot weather it's been okay um, so I've not suffered with that recently but I know coming up to the winter time I'll be living in big fluffy socks and dressing gowns and things like that because it was dreadful last year um, I just felt like you could never get warm so um, yeah I've had a welcome break from that during the summer which is nice um but yeah apart from that everything is going nicely with treatment so far and um things are looking like they're all heading in the right direction and my consultant is happy so as long as he's happy I'm happy because he's the expert um so yeah I've rambled on long enough seven eight minutes so um, I'm going to say goodbye now and uh, check in with you guys whenever there's anything else to update you on. Um, but thank you for messages and subscriptions and likes and everything else and thank you for watching the videos. I hope they're helpful to some of you who may be going through this or who have been going through it longer than I have. Um, but I'm, I hope it's helpful to some of you out there. Um, it can be quite a lonely experience when you're first diagnosed so if this helps even one person then it's worth me sitting here and doing this so yeah um, thanks for your support and I will speak to you guys soon hope you're all well take care